You are guys and welcome back to my Birmingham City career mode. This is episode 3 of the series. We jump in today with the first match of the episode which is against Reading. I think it's in the league. So yeah, while this is playing I just want to let you know that sorry for not uploading for like the last week so that's quite a common thing with my videos. But anyway, um, I was at my girlfriend's dad's house because they had a free house so I decided to go there for a week and yeah I had no stuff for me to record. Because my blue snowball doesn't work on my laptop because my laptop's so good and has like th all my USB ports are USB 3, the snowball doesn't work on it. And I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah. But never mind that. We're going to jump straight into this match. I don't think we made any changes to this match compared to the last match, or maybe one. I don't know. But, a um, couple of things. There's going to be a double upload today. The next video is going to be an ultimate team video, not any gameplay or anything. I'm going to. Basically, just talk to you guys about a series idea, a couple of series ideas that I've got. Um, yeah, basically, a series ideas about what I want to do with series is series series is that's a hard one. Um, and what I'm thinking about doing, and I want your guys' support and advice. And that's a goal right there. I don't know who scored that, but I was I wasn't really watching the uh, gameplay. But yeah, I've got the series ideas. Continue this career mode, obviously. Maybe start a player career mode to take us to uh, FIFA 16 because I love the um, be a pro career modes. The only problem is I don't know what cup to take. This is in uh, what club to pick, and this is in the Capital One Cup. I've just realised so it's a completely different squad. But yeah, I don't know what team to pick. I've got I could go with my own club, which is Newcastle. But I know as soon as I get in there, I am gonna get um, substituted. Like that substitute. Um, Loaned out instantly because I'm not a high enough rating even though Newcastle need a striker and I could be that. But um, another one I was thinking, I lived in a place called Dingwall for a long time, for about eight years of my life in Scotland. And they've got a club there called Ross County who got put into the uh, Scottish Premiership. And I'm thinking maybe starting with them because I'll get first team quality football, Scottish League. Then next season, once I've grown some, maybe go to the Premier League or see what other clubs 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 offer a um, contract to me but I don't know about that yet it's either going to be Newcastle or um, Russ County I don't know I, I don't want to really go with Newcastle because I get a bit I don't want to get loaned out to a tail club I don't want to pay for really so I'm probably just going to go with the Russ County one so maybe expect a video later this week from that series who knows and would you like it live com or Postcom. I don't mind either or. I can do both. But, um, yeah. So, we win that match 2-0 in the Capital One Cup against Reading. I was very happy with that. We got um, Davis got our man of the match. I can't remember playing the game because it was that long ago. But we go into another league game here against Nottingham, which is kind of a dart. No, it's not really. It's not really a derby. Ignore me. We got Martin Ty and Andy Smith. Alan Smith, um commentating this match even though I'm commentating it there'll be no game sound but we're going to actually with our strongest squad we have um Donaldson, Powell, Fabrini, Cot on the right oh we've got Brown on the right wing um Gleason, Spect Spe Spectre yeah Grounds, Doyle in goal why we got Doyle in goal oh I don't know why we got Doyle in goal I might not change that oops oh well, Doyle's in goal but um we're doing quite well in the league I think we are First or second, I can't remember. But Nottingham have got quite a strong team to go against. Blackstock's quite a good striker. Um, but I was quite scared of the match because Nottingham, they're, they're not bad, you know. But right there, he just takes the player out, not even trying to get the ball. Just all legs, no, uh, no ball contact at all. And Todd Kane with his uh, first booking of the match in the sixth minute. But can we get anything from this free kick? That's the question. We're in a good position to whip it in. Hopefully Donaldson or uh, Powell's quite tall, I think. Get the hell in it. So, Caddis whips it in. Powell, the header. Powell scores it. I told you. Powell has been a good signing for us so far. Not scoring so many goals, but just holding up play and um, basically making everything work. Like a, He's the cog in the, mid in the midfield for me at the moment. I really like him and Fabrini. Fabrini is really good. I just wish I could get both of them into the squad at the same time in the centre. Maybe I should play around with the formations a bit. But this one's working for us right now. But we give a stupid goal away there. 
It was literally the stupidest pass back ever. I don't know what I was thinking, but I passed it straight to their player. They scored the goal. That was it up at 1-1. And that is such a depressing goal. Just look at that. The pass was completely off target. And that shot was just... It, I wasn't saving that. It hit, came off the post. And I told you, Blackstock was something to watch out for. But Nottingham, again, on the attack. Splitting my defence. I don't know what I'm doing here. Playing like a retard. And terrible goalkeeping, I think. I, I think we could have got a hand to that. If that was Randolph, maybe he would have got a goal. Maybe he'd have saved it so and wouldn't have got, given the goal. But in the 21st minute, they go 2 1 up. Puts us on the back foot. We've got to really do something now to get back in front because Nottingham were pushing us at this point. But I don't know why the goalkeeper stopped. Why did he stop? But we're here. In the 62nd minute, Gleason passed it to our centre defensive mid. Donaldson passes it off to Fabrini. Fabrini's just going to go, he cuts back inside, powers the shot up on his weaker foot and puts it in the top, top, bottom left hand corner. Fabrini, I told you this guy's good and I'm I'm hoping he actually grows to a good potential because I don't want to have to not use him when I get to the Premier League or just use him for cup games because he's a really good player. But he powered that one right at the bottom left, goalkeeper should have done better, just scrambling there. First, guess only his first goal in the Premier League. Championship, but anyway, we get um, injury update here. We got two players out. Nick Powell's out for four weeks, and Grounds is out for four months or three months, something like that. So we had to change the squad up. We put Morrison in centre back. Fabrini goes into the centre, and we put Gray on the left hand side of midfield. But Fabrini plays a ball, great ball through to Donaldson. The sixth minute, Donaldson still on goal. He's still on goal. Donaldson, Donaldson doesn't doesn't miss them opportunities. The man is a goal scoring machine. I think he's currently the top goal scorer in the championship. And as you can see why, he puts them away. Blackpool had no the Blackpool keeper had no chance there. Just slots it in the top corner with a finesse shot. Donaldson. He's a good he's a good striker for Birmingham right now. I like him, I really like him. And if I'm gonna have to really think if transfer offers come through to him in the uh, January window. But Blackpool on the attack here. Oh, we win the ball back from Blackpool there. Fabrini on the ball. Fabrini sees the runner Gray. Gray with that pace. He's got blistering pace. He sees Donaldson in the middle. He does see Donaldson? Yep. No, oh, no, he sees Fabrini. And Fabrini scores the goal. I thought that was going to go to Donaldson with the whip, but no. We hold the pair up a bit longer. Let Fabrini get into some space. And he's not going to miss that as a free header. I like the way he just um, let Fabrini get free of his man. Cut back inside. Fabrini with the header, great goal. Puts us 2 0 up against Blackpool in the 18th minute. But Blackpool on the attack here. They play a good ball down the left hand side. I've got no defender. I'm struggling to switch man for some reason. They play a ball along the floor, and that's an easy goal for them. Should have defended better. That's the story of my like career mode, though. But once again, they're on attack down the left hand side. We try and head that away, but they get the ball back, luckily, after deflection, and. We throw the lead away. We throw a two-goal lead away in the 80th minute to let Blackpool get a point in this match. And I th also think that's going to be the last... Yep, that's the last goal of the game. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you for another episode shortly.